Today we're going to talk about micing guitar amps, and dynamic mics are probably the most common mic to use when micing an amplifier. In fact, a SM57 is usually the first choice of most engineers, uh, not because it's the best mic or anything like that, but because it's uh, something that we're used to hearing. Uh, we've been using it a long time, so it's kind of in our vocabulary, both in our like audio knowledge and just in our vocabulary period, but also a dynamic mic up close provides a really tight present sound and you won't get a lot of environment and other things in it. Dynamic mics are great because they're rugged and they're good for high SPLs. So this is what it might look like when you mic an amp up close and uh, to really kind of get your bearings on where to place the mic, uh, on this particular amp you can actually take off the front grill so it shows you where the speaker is. You can usually kind of look at it up close and kind of feel on it. But the inner part of the speaker here provides a much more high frequencies and so if you want a brighter tone you're going to be way more toward the center of the speaker. Uh, the outer part of the speaker provides more lows, and so if you want a bassier tone, you're going to be a little further out here. Uh, it's common to kind of be in between the two positions, because then you get a nice balanced tone. So guitar amps are often mic'd using multiple microphones to get kind of more of a spread out sound and also to kind of capture everything with the amplifier, and it also makes it more interesting a lot of times with two mics. Uh, so it is common to place a, like a dynamic mic up, like a 57 up close, and then maybe a condenser or a ribbon mic a few feet back to provide more of the ambience of the tone, and you can blend those two. Don't forget when you're using more than one mic to check for phase. Mm -hmm. 